everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am finally unboxing my September BoxyCharm Premium. I'm so excited to see what is in here. Last month was actually really, really good. So let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> all right, so we do have the card that tells us all the products in here, how much they're worth. We'll go back over that in just a little bit. Um, the first product I see, set this down, is from Complex Culture. This is the Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager. Now, I actually just got a facial facial massager um, in either my Ipsy or my FabFitFun. I can't really remember, um, but I ended up giving that to my daughter. Um, so it's kind of funny that I got another one. Now, this one is a little bit different. The other one had like a, um, like a rose quartz ball to it. Uh, this has, this is just like the T-shaped the facial massager. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. I might put this one in my uh, Christmas giveaway that will be coming up in just a couple months. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. This is from Verb. I have tried Verb hair products before. Um, I think it was like a shampoo and conditioner and I actually really enjoyed it. This is the Ghost Oil. Nice. So this is a smoothing Moringa blend weightless hair oil. It's supposed to be a vanishing daily restorative oil that revitalizes hair from roots to end. This integrated uh, Moringa oil blend enriches the hair shaft with essential nutrients that naturally smooth frizz and promote radiant shine for all hair types. Um, yeah, I'll be definitely trying that out. <laughs> All right, moving on, we have, ooh, yeah. Okay, we have a lipstick from Bare Minerals. I really like their lipsticks. They're really good and so underrated. Um, this is the Hydra Smoothing Lipstick in the shade Perception. So this is what the packaging looks like here. It's actually very sleek. I really, really like it. It does have a little bit of a weight to it, and it says Bare Minerals right there, and... That is an absolutely stunning color, you guys. Wow. Let's do a swatch. Ooh, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more of a, of like a, a brown shade, but it's like a little bit more of like a purple berry shade. A little misleading, because even the bottom is like a deep, burgundy kind of like what I have on if I look at the box and the little square because the little square is also supposed to show you um, the color of it yeah I would say that's definitely different <laughs> it's still a very pretty shade um, I don't know <laughs> I'll still try and see if I can uh, come up with a look to go with it so I wish it was definitely darker, more so like this color right here, but it's still really pretty. So we're definitely gonna have to play with that one. Okay, the next item we have is from Laura Mercier. This is their Soothing Eye Makeup Remover. Nice. Um, I have not tried this before. I, do, I like trying different like makeup removers to see what works, what doesn't. Um, so this is actually super exciting. I probably will use this to remove my makeup tonight. So yeah, that is the bottle. Hopefully it doesn't like, no, not really perfume me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Um, there's hardly any scent to it. I hate it when it's like super perfumey, if that makes any sense. Um, but I really don't smell a scent to it. And any extra makeup removers that I can get, I will definitely take. Okay, we have two items left. Uh, this item is from Bloom Effects. This is the Tulip Dew Mist. So this is a hydrating mist. It says, holding six to eight inches away, spray the mist evenly onto face for an instant dewy glow. Use before makeup as a primer, after makeup as a setting spray, or any time throughout the day. That kind of reminds me of like my Pixi um, setting spray that I have. It's supposed to give me like that dewy finish. So hopefully this doesn't stink. 
Okay, it definitely has a really fine mist on it, so that's good. Ooh. Hmm. How do I look? Do I look dewy? <laughs> um... So I like the spray on this. I like that it's like a fine mist. Um, a little bit will definitely go a long way because I feel like my eyes are soaking wet right now. So definitely don't want to do too much on that, but it's still really good. And the last product we have is from Beauty Bakery. Yes. Okay, so this is their Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette. I think I have received... Uh, a beauty bakery item before I think it was like an eyeshadow palette um, I've never received their highlighter palette uh, but I have not played with any of their highlighters and I'm so excited to see what this looks like <laughs> isn't that so cute they have some of the best packaging and wow that's really pretty that is so pretty look at that oh I love the pink. I, I cannot believe I'm saying that because I really don't do too much pink. But that pink highlighter is really pretty. This is really pretty. That would be a really cool, cool like shimmery lid color. Oh. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Let's just swatch all four. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. That's going to be my favorite. And, oh look look how pretty those are all right I got the pink one that <laughs> is so pretty all right oh, it's like ice that one's like ice oh they are stunning look at that That makes me so happy okay so we definitely got some really good products in this month's box uh, let's go over the price and see how much everything is worth so we got the bare minerals lipstick for $20 the Laura Mercier uh, eye remover for 27 the dew mist for $34 beauty bakery um, highlighting palette is 38 the T-Bar Facial Massager is $58, and the Ghost Oil is $18. So our box total comes to $195. That's such a good value considering we only pay, what is it, $35 a month? I'll have the price listed somewhere. <laughs> but $35 and we got $195 worth of product. That is such a a good deal and we got like I said we got some really good products I love the highlighting palette I love the lipstick I love the verb oil I love the makeup remover um, this was okay I definitely like trying new face mist so that was fun and what did I say <laughs> what did, did I already say I like the lipstick I, mean, I like the lipstick if I didn't say that already but I don't know I'm happy with this box all right, guys, so that's it for this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.